found out that the second embryo transfer had worked and my HCG levels were high this time, indicating that I was finally pregnant. <laughs> Two to three weeks. The HCG levels were so high that the doctor thought it might be twins. The transfer one, unlikely to become twins, but there is still a chance because it's 325. Oh god. Oh, a chance to have twins. I think it's working. I'm feeling quite tired, other and my boobs are quite sore. But other than that, I don't really have any other symptoms. Um, I don't think I have the pregnancy glow that people talk about because I'm breaking out like crazy on my chin again. Um, so I want to know where that is. A little bit bloated. Tired, quite tired. I nap a lot. I was never a napper, but now I nap every single day. Two babies, one boy, one girl. Oh. Home one's twins. I don't know how I feel about that. I think I prefer one at a time. I'm scared. <laughs> We're gonna find out how many there are as well today. <laughs> still doesn't feel real to you yet, eh? You still don't fully believe it. Today. It's today to find out. <laughs> what do you see? Um, excited. Nervous. Hope everything's good. And I'm not sure how many there are. <laughs> it's funny how we went from like three years of not being able to conceive to maybe having more than one. <laughs> All or nothing. From zero to a hundred. <laughs> Crazy. Let's see. Sometimes when you do IVF, even though they implant one embryo, it can split into two like it, it normally could when you have twins. Or if you try naturally that month, you could also have two because the doctor wouldn't know when they put in the embryo if one was already there at that time. Uh, you feel tired. <laughs> now, this is the first thing Good. This is your uterus. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And let's. Focus on to move the ultrasound from left to right. Uh -huh. One house. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Right to left. One house. Yeah. Okay. On up to bottom. One house. One house. <laughs> <laughs> the gestation is that the house of babies. So this is one baby. Mm. So let us. Clear. Oh my god. Is it happy? Yeah. Okay. Now keep still for a while. So fast? Yeah. Good. 122. If it's more than 100, it's good. Wow. That was more. Good. Oh my god. Yeah. It's around 6 m. It's a big one. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's why the HCG is quite high. The heart feels so fast. <laughs> yeah, when I, when I hear that, I cry too. Did you? Yeah. It's very bleeding. So bleeding. Oh my god. Everything is extra. Heartbeat is faster. Extuity level is much higher. And it's and six. Bigger. Yeah. <laughs> so strong, baby. <laughs> Our super baby is here. Turns out it's not twins, it's just one big baby. <laughs> Let me show you this. We're on our way to our next appointment. This one's pretty important because hopefully the placenta is developed and once it's fully developed, everything's a little bit more uh, safe and stable. And today we get to do the genetic testing by a blood test, so I hope everything will be okay with that. And then once we get the results and if everything is good physically and by the blood test, then I think it will be pretty safe to announce pretty soon. Also, this is something that people don't tell you when you're doing IVF. I knew about the injections and like a lot of the stuff going into it, but I did not know about these. These are eutrogestion and it's a form of progesterone and you have to put these inside of your hoo-ha. You start putting them in before you do the implantation and you continue. I've been doing them, two of these guys, 
three times a day and I really hate it. <laughs> it's progesterone, so it's a hormone, so it makes you a little bit more bloated, makes you more Besides tired. the side effects of the hormones, they're just really messy. Ali Wong describes this really well. So then I had to take these hormone pills that were suppositories and push pop them up myself every single night. And then at my writing job at Fresh Off the Boat, I would be storyboarding in front of my coworkers. And then at some point, the pill would inevitably dissolve and melt into my underwear. And I had to act like everything was okay when everything was clearly not okay. Hopefully, if everything's stable, I can stop this finally today. I hope, I hope. It's moving. Can you see? Yeah. Oh, I see the heart moving yeah. too. The big sin hand. So tiny. Can I stop the progesterone? Yes, I'm going to tell you, you can stop it gradually. Oh. Every time we go in for an ultrasound and they do measurements, now they're getting more specific with the head, the stomach. Pretty much everything is a lot bigger than average. The baby is in the 96 to 98th percentile. Size 4 centimeters. Is it normal? It's like just big. Big? big? Yeah, I think they're growing faster. Yeah, it's a big one. This is the average size of babies. So you have this yellow dot near this middle, which is average size. Oh my god, it's so big. It's so this, big. this size is small baby, and this is big baby. Oh my it's still god. in the range, not outweigh. It's still in the range, so it's still healthy. It just means that it might be quite difficult for me to birth. And when I was asking Dr. Kong why this is happening or where this is coming from, she said it was genetics. So like the all bones, all bones size. my mom's babies are regular, like average size. You too, right? Yeah, I'm average. I'm not too big. I'm not big at all. My sister's kids too, all average. Why is my baby so big? I don't know. It's huge. <laughs> I have no idea where this baby's genetics are coming from. Knowing that my baby was bigger made a lot of sense because I got bigger quite quickly and I found it quite difficult to get dressed because none of my clothes really fit really early on and it was especially difficult with work because I'm often sent sample sizes to borrow for the day for the shoe or, or an event or something and sample sizes run quite small. It literally says sample not for sale so it's just one there's only one size option. I'm just over 10 weeks but there's already like a little something something there. Found out that the reason that your clothes don't fit pretty quickly is because as your uterus is expanding to make room for the baby, your organs actually move up. So it's not that just this area that grows, it's sort of all of this area, so your waistline, everything. Oh, it's so tight around my waist. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna unbutton this on the way there, and then I'm gonna get to the event, do my 10-15 minutes, whatever it takes, take my photos, and then jump back into the car and do it. That's the plan. Okay, in there. I have this little bag to cover. I chose this outfit on purpose. brands but it, it got harder the further I got along. I think from the front I look uh, not so pregnant but from the side I am very pregnant and I'm feeling very pregnant because my brain literally doesn't work. Baby brain is a thing. I brought a giant changing tent <laughs> instead of the reflector. <laughs> They sent me this outfit, which is a little bit tight, but where you get to the real situation is the shoes. <laughs> These are so cool, but they're size 39, oh 40. I'm a size 37, and they're very high. Uh, so basically what I'm going to do is put them in position, and I'm just going to have to stay cemented and like move like that. Please be careful. Yeah, be really careful. Um, so yeah. 
I guess we're gonna do this. I'm in. Stilts. Feel very small. Okay. One shoe, I did have to announce it randomly because. So I showed up to set and they had given me a pair of bike shorts and sort of like a uh, crop top to wear. That shows my stomach and I, with a jacket on top, but like it was kind of open. And uh, I was asked to jump on a trampoline and I was like, hmm. So I'm pregnant and I can't do that. And so they had to find a new outfit for me and a new pose and stuff, which sucks. And I didn't want that to happen. Um, but yeah, I'm finding it quite, I think I keep saying that in this vlog, I'm finding it quite difficult for work in terms of outfits and just activities and stuff. So I really just want to get it out. I really want to tell you guys, I know you guys are going to be so excited and I just want to feel free and release the bump and wear tight clothes and just, be in my bump glory. Not feeling much now. I have been a little bit more tired, a little bit more hungry, a lot more bloated, and have a lot more acne, but that's about it. No cravings, no food aversions, no nausea, nothing really extreme. So it kind of makes me a little bit worried because uh, I want to feel something, I want to feel a connection, but yeah, hopefully everything's good. This was the case for the whole first trimester. I felt really good, actually. I keep saying I could have 10 babies if this is what it feels like. But I've just, I've really enjoyed this whole experience and I feel really good about it. Um, but people keep telling me, wait till you uh, breastfeed. Everyone says the delivery, it, it, it's difficult, but you can get through it, but it's the breastfeeding that's hard. So I, yeah, I'll just shut up for now. <laughs> um, but I, yeah, I just felt a little bit more tired and a little bit more hungry. But other than that, no morning sickness, no nausea, which was great because I could keep working. My skin also got a lot worse. Every day I have at least three new pimples. My skin is getting worse and worse. I thought it would get better by second trimester. I'm entering that now and it's just getting worse. And usually I just have it here, but now it's starting to spread everywhere and it's painful. Just as I had finally figured out something that worked for me and my skin became clear for the first time in like, I think it was six years, I got pregnant and I haven't had a clear skin day since I got pregnant but that is okay. I will take acne for a baby any day. I haven't had any food cravings or aversion so far, but I will say I really enjoy eating fresh crunchy foods like cucumbers and pickles. And I tend to choose foods that are more sour or a little bit spicy in taste. So I really love Korean and Thai and Indian food, just food full of flavor. And then also salads, like the fresh crispy thing again. Tell me you couldn't decide what you wanted to eat without telling me you couldn't decide what you wanted to eat. I'm pretty sure this is a full on pregnancy plate. I have purchased a few pregnancy related things. The very first thing I bought pretty much as soon as I found out. Hello, it is currently Friday night and I am all excited to do some online shopping. I'm ordering my first pregnancy items. So I've been watching a lot of people's pregnancy videos, especially their first trimester updates and seeing what they've been using. And I put together a list and the very first thing I wanna buy is a pregnancy pillow. It doesn't really have anything to support yet, but it just looks so comfy. So I saw in Jen Im's uh, video. It's like a giant bean bag that hugs you. It is incredible. So you can basically just wrap it around your body and you can adjust how firm you want it by these things at the ends. I will always use this from now on. You don't need to be pregnant to use it. Actually, my husband loves it so much. Speaking of that, I am thoroughly enjoying this pregnancy, but I feel like he might be enjoying it more. What's this? Babe. <laughs> So comfy. <laughs> you want one? Yep. I want one too. <laughs> From the pillow to the late night indulgences. Dinner number two. What are you having? French toast. <laughs> 
I am also a bath lover. So one of the first things I bought was this guy. It's a bath thermometer. So you just plop it in the tub and it floats around and it tells you the temperature the whole time. I didn't know this before, but you're not supposed to take hot baths when you're pregnant because it's not good for the baby. So this keeps everything in check and then it will be great when we do have the baby. I can check the bath water too and it's so cute. It's a little stingray. Uh, skincare wise, Honestly, I didn't have to change too much. Because my skin is sensitive and acne prone, I had created a skincare routine that um, didn't have any fragrance, uh, except for the acne stuff. So I had to cut out that, which is a bit difficult because my acne is worse than ever, but I can't really put on those creams. Anyways, what I did start doing was putting on body cream every day, pretty much, just preemptively to get ready for my skin to stretch. And the cream I use for that is the CeraVe Moisturizing Cream. I used this before I got pregnant. I just find it really hydrates my skin and it doesn't feel greasy and it lasts really long and um, makes my skin just feel really bouncy. So I feel like I'm, I'm making it very elastic to get it ready. That and I also just use bio oil from my chest down to my knees. Uh, it's a good affordable product just from the drugstore and I think it works well. I don't mind the smell, a lot of oils, I just couldn't stand the smell. And um, it's supposed to improve the appearance of stretch marks, which are kind of unavoidable, they're due to genetics. I think I will get some, I already have a lot on my inner thighs and like the sides of my hips, but whatever, just doing what I can, it makes me feel good too, it's like a nice nighttime routine. One of the questions I often get is, do you think Rosie can tell if you're pregnant? Can you? Can you tell? <laughs> I think she can actually. She always needs to be around me. She's super protective and she always lays on my stomach. It's really cute. This is her favorite spot. There's a whole bed available. She loves laying on my belly. He's so cute. So I think that's gonna be it for this episode. I'm pretty much, I've pretty much caught you guys up to date now. So I can start vlogging like once a week now maybe. Uh, this, this is me up to date. I'm like four months and this is what I look like now. But all the pr footage that I've shot over the years is pretty much done. So yay, I feel free. I can wear tighter clothes and show off my bump and I can share everything I'm going through with you in real time and I've had to keep this secret from you and I hated it and it's just, uh, I feel so good now. I feel so good that we're on the same page. All right, I'll see you guys soon.